Last week, Garen and Ellie finished up the outhouse and reached the top of the bag walls on the cabin, while the rest of the family removed the old ceiling in the kitchen. Stay tuned as we continue our progress on the additions to the main house and cabin. I can see we're gonna need some windows pretty soon here. You didn't realize that 25 years ago you would have a house that your husband is putting together that didn't have windows. It does, it will. You know, we're gonna have windows. It does provide, I have holes where windows should go one day. Why are you doing that? Okay, down? I can't go down. Okay, we can go around. We can go around. Well, not having the windows in has been really helpful because yeah. we were able to chuck all the stuff out of the wall that's and on true. the ceiling. We were able to pass it through those window boxes, so that's been good. Are you putting windows in? What is the proper way to pull a staple? Using a combination of Philadelphia screwdriver and the teeth puller. Done. Yeah, windows are going to be nice. So the windows are going to be nice, especially with those storms coming. Yes. So. Your side in? Yeah. Your side in. Now, with any settling or any moisture that we may have had through the summer with monsoons coming through, we did get a little bit of wetness in there, a little bit of warpage. You are styling right now, Brian. So I had to uh, carve out the windows spots a little bit, maybe take them down an extra eighth or a quarter inch just to be able to get that to fit right. You used that little planer thing, didn't I you? I did. My, my little hand planer, uh, electric hand planer worked really well to buzz all that out. Let's see if it fits. No other issues getting the windows in? Just um, no, the windows, the windows went in quite well, very easily, so. The kid's friend, Ben, mm -hmm. he came out and helped, so yeah. that was fun having him out. We believe in you. That makes one of us. Heave, man! Yeah. Yeah. It's always fun to have friends out. Yeah, help out. How many times have you been hitting the window? That's, I don't know. <laughs> gonna go in very well. Yeah, that's why I have that on film. We're not done yet. <laughs> we will get this nail in. It's in. <laughs> What was nice about that is I was on the inside directing traffic and then the guys outside, you know, put the windows in. That was easy. Getting the windows in is just one of those completed moments that mm -hmm. just make it look nice. It feels warmer. Less rainy. So we're gonna have to cut a driveway out, cut this, this like half of the tree down. Rip this out. A couple big rocks. Let me get to go. Oh yeah, just a few big rocks. Come up through this area here, and then through and out. I think we're close. All right, first test of our road here. This is the least steep place we can come into. Oh, there's the doggos. Watch out, pet drill. Yeah, it's definitely steep, but yeah, and we'll run over diesel. And then home. We should try to drive back up it now. Here's the way back up. Doesn't look like much. Oh, yeah, we can get that with a big truck. Okay. I think that's good. So over the weekend, uh, my dog Max passed away from pneumonia. When we first got him, I was a little scared to get close to him because I've always, I know that, that death comes eventually. But mom said to me, we gotta love them with all our hearts and give them a really good, a really good home while they're here. So death is, is inevitable, but I don't ever want to fear it. I really love my Max. I'm very appreciative that he was my dog. Max, thank you for being a wonderful friend, for teaching me so much, for being there and never leaving my side. May you rest in peace. I did indeed. Garage sales. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna rip down our one by three and create better boards around the windows. Once we get those windows in, we're looking at getting the trim around the windows and then uh, finishing up any 
spots around the outside, you know, detailing that uh, before we can get some paint on too. So how about the pancake noise? Three and a half was too much. Way too much stucco that needed to be busted out to get them on and stuff. I'm going, oh, I really like to go with the smaller ones so yeah. we don't have to try to disturb the stucco that we've already had on as little as possible. Man at work, hard at work. Man at work. Work at man? Yes. Last one? Last one. We have our, our diagram here. It shows all the lights and everything. And also we have this for all our breakers and stuff and what ones we're gonna run it off of. What we're gonna do is we are going to wire in the kitchen off of the stuff that we have from the original kitchen. And isn't it gorgeous? It is gorgeous. So, setting up for power. And one hot side here to here. Yeah. And then, okay. and then the other side of there. And then okay. That's all white wires on that side, black wires on that side. Yeah. That's all you do. Yeah, okay, that's all. <gasps> cute little bullet and cute, cute little, little bullet. bullet. Oh, yeah. Is that not the best sweatshirt you've ever seen in your so entire life? So good, we would wear it, right? Oh, oh. You, you need to go get yourself one of these so you can feel warm, this. Warm, comfy. Warm. This is Breeze Art right here. Look at that. Oh, yeah, a bullet away. here too. See? Yeah. Another bullet. Yeah. Not just bullet. Yeah, but I got all. all of them. Can you Look name at them all? This pug right there. Pug. They look great. They look all fancy like they're supposed to be. Yeah. Completed all of the plugs. Yay! Oh wow, they even have got caps on them too, don't they? Yep. They look so pretty. All got the one? power is to all the plugs. Gotta Put brush off on. your fancy dancy new sweater. No, no, it's, no, no advertising. <laughs> Go get a sweater. <laughs> it's <laughs> snowing! <laughs> oh my gosh. It's actually like sticking too, look at. It's not supposed to be snowing in October. Wow, it's crazy. Look at that, it's just beautiful. All right, we're off to get some lumber for the roof. Let's see if we can fit it all in the truck. Yeah, it's hopefully we can, it's a lot. <laughs> Three stores, we're having to spread out a little. They don't have yep. all our lumber. They don't, so, so. A, lot of, a lot of traveling today. I hope we have enough time in the day to get all these. We're running and out room daylight. on the truck, really. Okay, so uh, at the third Home Depot here, and it's just gonna be too much weight, so we're gonna have to come back tomorrow and try again. It's quite the load. It is. We're heading back today after we unload all this. Even the cab is full. <laughs> full. That trailer skirting there, the foam, yes. trying to keep ourselves a little warmer. We're gonna yeah. build a wood stove too for our trailer. The snow kind of shocked us a little bit. Snow got us worried. It's like, okay, time to batten down the hatches. Okay, let's get her unloaded. Party! So much fun to have all this fresh wood to build with. And it's fun too to build with things that, you know, reuse materials yeah. and stuff. It's fun to do that too, but just to have new stuff sometimes to put something together is just fun as well. Yeah, it's all fresh. Should we try two? All right, babe, here we go. Right back where we had it. Perfect. Never mind, we're going before. Or maybe not. Remember when you said, oh, wow, that's really heavy? That was four. Let's do three then. Working up a sweat? <laughs> Didn't think that was possible. Trying to keep you on your toes. You are, keep my, on my toes and my shoulders, mostly in socket. <laughs> they have nutritional facts. When you're buying shingles, always oh, check the nutritional facts. Oh yeah. You don't want a lot of ingredients. Just sand and tar. <laughs> sand and tar? Yeah. He's just turned into quite the little dog. He's got so much energy. He says, what, me? No, I, I don't chew on anything. I'm just the perfect animal. Hmm. She's the perfect woman. Sarcasm? No. <laughs> this is a movie that's funny. How I remember. Sounds familiar though. Normally now, 
we don't stucco till the windows are in but because of the situation with the wall coming down and the ceiling coming down we decided to do this in a different order so i have to go back and repair the stucco now because it always falls out when the windows come in that's why we do it normally before <laughs> when they put the trim in these wood pieces here they're not very kind they just rip out whatever's in their way and we have to come back here and fix it Interesting. Hey, Mom. Yeah, what are you trying to tell us from the other side? Oh, oh sorry. I just saying this mixture that you did is just beautiful. Oh, it's... I'm glad I opened that. I wouldn't have got that compliment otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be out there to help you real quick. Also, okay. look at the tint. That's kind of cool. You look like green and lush. It's kind of cool, actually. Is that a nice piece? Hang some pendant lights down from it. Hang it from the ceiling. Kind of complete the uh, tree branch and tree trunk idea. With the ceiling down, you have to figure out exactly where all the lights are gonna go. For the hanging light I'm gonna put up here, we'll hang it with teardrops off of it on this side to kind of to light this side. And over here we're gonna do the same thing so that we have a pretty good distribution of light in this area. And it's usually the, the population areas where people are working. So you got the area here by the kitchen sink. You're gonna need something over the sink because that's a very primary area. Uh, and then of course we're having this big island in the middle. That all has to be lit. And then of course right over the, the big table. Yeah, okay. rough the fixtures in. You know we have this big tree in the middle with this huge branch that comes out and some branches that go off of that. We could hang drop lights, the, the little mini the mini pendants that come down off of a branch. I think six foot, so this is like real close for over the table. And leave them in the same fashion off of the tree trunk so it looks like, you know, how art is. Sometimes they have this piece of art and then they have a break and then they have this piece of art, but it's related directly to that piece. So that's kind of what we're doing in 3D. Hi, Bullet. Setting up over here. You're the fam. Oh, is that one of our new ones? Yeah, it work. Hey. <laughs> Put another the whole six dollars. <laughs> just have branches with drop lights that uh, mini drops that fit off the I top of those. That. That yeah, perfect. That'll be fine. Yeah, found two really nice ones. I'm, I'm preparing now. This is gonna either go over the sink or over the kitchen table. I'm not sure which one the one I'm gonna go for. All right, very cool. Hi, bullet. He's gotten better. He's not a hundred percent, but he's getting there. See his tail? That's a good indication. He's got to go up. That's what we need. <laughs> up and wax. Alright, we're on the road. Right. Trip number two. It's a bit of a drive while we were trying to get them all in one load, but uh, I'm glad we didn't because I think we would have broke something. So it took us two trips to get everything, but we, we made it happen. We got our last load, so now we're on our way back. On our way back home. In the rain. In the rain. It's not near as much as last night. It's a good day to go because it's been like rainy for the past couple days, so it's it's nice to be in the warmth of our heat before we get our incredible amount of lumber. So, oh, unload this guy and get it all tarped up. It's a lot of wood. It is a lot of wood. Now we're working on trailer stuff, trying to get it better for the winter here. So we just got a bunch of our foam to do the skirting around the trailer because it's a really cost efficient way to do it. It just doesn't look super pretty, as you can see. We do have an insulated bottom on the trailer. So it shouldn't be, it's really not a huge problem. We shouldn't need heat lamps or anything. Having it skirted, keep it a little warmer in the camper, make sure our tanks don't freeze for sure. It's all toasty in there. Woo! When we took down that ceiling from the old building, the ceiling for us and the roof for the old building, all of a sudden, so now we need a little bit more support during the middle and that's color ties are perfect for that. That's something that, uh, you know, I could have installed earlier prior to bringing the wall down, but we did have the ceiling still there. So you kind of have to play a game. What comes first? The post and the ridge will be sufficient enough to hold it just in time for me to be able to get the collar ties in. And that keeps the walls from any expansion should they have any expansion. All right guys, what's hip and happening? Dad's putting the last nail to the floor. This is the last rafter. Last rafter. the feeling you get when you're uh, walking from the studio up to the main house? 
when I walk out, I see that completion of that circle that we were looking for in the courtyard as the houses went around and then completed. And not only that, to see the roundy building that we actually get to walk into the main house. I just love that. It's such a pleasant kitchen and dining room to walk into and we're not even done yet. The feeling I get walking over is, is warmth, especially at night. It reminds me of that, that line in the old country tune from the outside looking in. You take it all in and go, you know, that's where f warmth and family and love. And then me too, looking forward to the holidays and uh, packing this place out and trying to get all this done before Christmas, you know. I don't know if you know this, but I also have a pig. A curly tail, large appetite, both big signs of pigs. Huh, baby? Little pig nose? <laughs> yeah, little pig nose. And we felt that Garen and Ellie's outhouse was so cool, it needed its own merch design. So that is the, uh, the design for this week. If you missed last week's new design, it is the Team Boo uh, shirt. And Mom and both Boo is admiring her work. <laughs> Bye, Boo. With footprints on With footprints and lots of hair. So if you'd like to get your own Team Boo shirt, uh, that will be also in the shop in the link below. That wraps up this week. Thank you so much for being a part of our family. Stay tuned for next time as we continue work on the kitchen and bathroom additions. Thanks so much for being here, and we'll see you next Friday. Bye. Kiss, 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 kiss. See what I'm doing because you're you're. Because <laughs> <laughs> now we have a bigger problem. <laughs> I have it in flat. Oh. Do you realize these windows are behind us already in when we're talking about the windows going in? Yes. If you'll notice that the <laughs> windows are already in and we're trying Just to talk it. about them post. <laughs> They're not there. Okay. Just a background character in this musical. <laughs> <laughs> but I did want a little attention. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Tan and tar? Yeah. <laughs> you get your extra curly stuff. You're wasting your money. Every, in the comments, name <clears throat> name all the dogs. Yes, there name you go. all the pets in order. This is the challenge. See in the comments. I gotta, I gotta show you my Yui. We weren't supposed to say that, but it's just really comfortable, and I, I wanted to show it off. Okay, bye.